Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is a quick video for a uh, problem that one of the security updates that actually happened last week is creating a problem. Now the main security updates, the one that has like tons and tons of uh, fixes is okay. It, it's rolling out well. But they had a separate small one for many PCs that showed up. And it was released at the same time. And actually what it does, and it says here, addresses an issue in which a third-party um, un unified extension firmware interface, UEFI, boot manager, might expose UEFI-enabled computers to a security flaw. So they issued this. The problem is, instead of fixing the issue, it creates more problems for a lot of people. So... They know that this creates um, some boot problems on some machines. Um, so basically, what you uh, will need to do is uninstall this update. Microsoft has pulled it from the update. And they say that they won't actually give it again. The number that you're searching for in the update is KB4524244. This is the problem. What you need to do, and you know what, even if you don't have problems, I would actually recommend that you remove it because, uh, I mean, they're not going to offer it again. I mean, that means they probably deem that it, it's going to be okay. So when you remove it, it won't show up because Microsoft pulled it. And uh, so basically, how do you do that? So if you are booting into Windows, you can go into your uh, settings app. And uh, if you're boot booting in fast ring or in other modes, you need to simply go to the update and security. In there, you'll go into view update history. And you will see uninstall updates on the upper left. You click that. You look for that number that I just mentioned. Once again, only that one. You click the one that says KB4524244. And once you click on it, you actually click the uninstall button for that update at the top here that's going to appear. So you'll be removing that flawed update. It's only this that's creating an issue. And it's um, not cool because some people are ending up with a PC that doesn't boot well. A lot of you, what you have is it boots. But if you try to uh, reset the PC or do different things that make it restart, it behaves weird. So just remove it from your computer. The majority of people, at least that's a good thing in, in a way, the majority of people having problems with that update actually is the update couldn't install. But since that update was removed, it's not going to try to install it anymore. Simply restart your PC and it won't show up in the Windows updates anymore. So uh, it's only that update. The rest, the other updates seem to be working well. Um, some For some reason, this fix doesn't fix anything it breaks more than it fixes if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thanks for watching